Hi everybody, today we are going to learn how to plot xy coordinates. So first we're going to talk about um, a few pieces of vocabulary and just some terminology that we'll be using a lot this chapter. Um, so we are going to start uh, learning how to graph different types of equations. So all of our graphing is going to occur on what's called an xy axis and they look something like this. So this horizontal line we call it the x-axis, which means that vertical line would be called the y-axis. So this x-y-axis allows us to show graphically two different values, an x-value and a y-value. And those values are going to come from what are called coordinates. So a coordinate is just a way um, to describe where something is located on an x-y axis. And it always looks like this. Um, a coordinate should always have parentheses. There should always be two numbers, an x value and a y value, and there should always be a, um, a comma in between the two values. So make sure you're writing your coordinates appropriately. So on the xy axis, these are going to represent your x values, but this middle part is actually going to be where we start. So this middle point right in the center actually has um, a specific name. It's called the origin. And we call it the origin because both x and y are zero. Um, and origin means starting point. So this is our starting point. Now, for any values going to the right on the x-axis, these values are positive. And for any values going to the left on the x value uh, on the x-axis, these are negative, just like a number line. Now, for the y-axis, um, going up is going to be positive and going down is going to be negative. So now we have a way to describe both positive and negative x and y values. But the last thing I want to talk about really quickly um, is a more general way to name where a coordinate is falling. So you might notice that there are actually four different areas created by this xy axis, at, and they are called quadrants. So the, the prefix quad, whenever you see it, means four. So that's why we call them quadrants, because there are four different zones. And these quadrants have specific names. So we're always going to start up here because it's positive and positive for x and y. So we call this quadrant one, and we're going to write it like this, qi, um, as a Roman numeral. That's just how you'll see it written for quadrants. But we read it quadrant one. We write it qi with a Roman numeral. Now for our quadrants, we actually move counterclockwise. So we move from this to this. So this is going to be quadrant two, which we write as ii. That's how you write two in Roman numerals. Then we keep going around. So this is quadrant three, which is iii. And then the last one is quadrant four, which is actually IV. So in Roman numerals, um, V means five, so this means one before five. So we have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So it's good to be able to describe which quadrant your, um, your coordinate is on. However, it's also important to note that your, qu your coordinate might actually fall on the X or Y axis as well. So maybe it's not in a quadrant, but it's on an axis. But these are all of the terms that we're going to be using today. So now we're going to start by um, plotting some coordinates. So you see I have a list of coordinates here, um, A through F. And we're going to plot them, which just means to place them on the X, Y axis. So we always, when we're plotting a coordinate, I like to look at it and I like to ask myself, um, should I move left or right? And then should I move up or down? So remember the X value is always along this horizontal line, so it's left or right. And the Y value is always along this, so it's up or down. So when I look at coordinate A, this tells me to move to the left three, and then up five, and that's where I'm going to put my coordinate. So I'm going to plot it, and then I'm going to label it A. There you go, we just plotted coordinate A. So for coordinate B, uh, X is positive two, Y is positive six, so I'm at two, six, and then I'm going to plot my coordinate and label it coordinate B. 
All right, so whenever your coordinate has a zero, um, you need to slow down and really think about it because this is real, typically where I see some small mistakes. So I start at the origin. Since my x value is zero, I'm actually not going to move right or left. I'm going to stay right where I am. My y value is negative four, which just tells me to move down four. So zero, negative four is actually on the y axis. So here's coordinate C. Uh, let's look at coordinate D. So my x value is negative 6, so I'm going to go to the left 6. And then my y value is negative 3, so I go down 3. So once again, negative 6, negative 3. And I'm going to plot my coordinate. Okay, uh, let's try this coordinate E. Here, my x value is 7, so I move to the right 7 because it's positive. But my y value is 0, so I'm not going to move up or down. I'm actually going to stay on my x-axis. So this is coordinate E. And last, I have positive 3, negative 2. So x is positive 3, y is negative 2. Plot coordinate F. So notice that coordinate B is in quadrant 1. Coordinate A is in quadrant 2. Coordinate D is in quadrant 3, and quadrant or coordinate F is in quadrant 4. Coordinate E is actually on my x-axis, and C is on my y-axis. So at this point, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try plotting these six points below. So plot G, H, I, J, K, and L, and make sure you label them as you plot. Okay, go ahead and check your work. So um, coordinate G should be over here in quadrant 2. Coordinate, coordinate H should be over here in quadrant 1. Coordinate I should actually be on the y-axis at 0, 3. J should be down in quadrant 3 at negative 1, negative 5. K is on our x-axis right here. And L is down in quadrant 4. Okay, the last thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to um, name coordinates that we see are already plotted. So here we're actually going to look at them and determine what the coordinates are. So let's start with um, coordinate A. So I'm going to label it A. So remember we need parentheses, two values, and a number. So I have to figure out what is my x value and what's my y value. So if I start at the origin and trace my way to A, I see that I go left 2, up 2. That means my x value is negative 2 and my y value is positive 2. You can also find this by connecting your coordinate to the x and the y axis. So I see that when I connect to my x axis, I'm at x equals negative 2. And when I connect to my y axis, I'm at x equals or y equals positive 2. So you can always find your way straight over to your x or y axis. Let's look at coordinate b. So here, to get to coordinate B, I go right 3, or sorry, right 2, down 3. So that means our coordinate is positive 2, negative 3. Let's try coordinate C together. To get to C, I go left 2, down 2. So it's negative 2, negative 2. For coordinate D, let's have a look. Here, I don't move left or right, so my x value is going to be 0. But I do move up 4, so it's at 0, 4. And let's try coordinate E together as well. Here I move right 3, up 1, so it's 3, 1. All right, uh, please go ahead and pause the video and see if you can give those last three a try. See if you can name the coordinates. Okay, so you can see here, coordinate F is negative 4, 0. Notice when I read it, we don't read the parentheses or the comma. We just say coordinate F is negative 4, 0. Um, coordinate G is 5, negative 1. And coordinate H is at the origin, 0, 0. All right, that is all for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.